Although science is a core subject being studied in all educational institutions in the country, biotechnology has not been given the needed attention in most of those syllables used in the schools. Most students are therefore ignorant about the technology and its importance in advancing and enhancing agricultural production, health and environment. Many schools lack laboratory facility to promote practical teaching of science. In an interview with Vasa, one who is the head of biotechnology research program at CSR Crop Research Institute, Dr. Mariam Kwe stressed the need for science and modern biotechnology to be demystified in schools for easy acceptance in the promotion of research and development. The basic thing is science has to be demystified so that people will appreciate the fact that science is part of our day-to-day -day life. You look into the curriculum of the high school teachers or of high schools, there, there's some aspects of biotechnology, but it hasn't been couched as such. So they don't even know, the teachers don't even know they are teaching biotechnology. To some extent, uh, universities are also limited in the lab setup they have. So the teacher who is in the classroom teaching biotechnology didn't have much exposure at the university level. So if we started from the high school level, at least by the time they go to the university, they know much about it. And when we have to translate it in the laboratory in research and development, it is easier for people to accept. And when it's being applied in agriculture, I mean, we will accept it that it's a basic science that is being applied for uh, research and development. Dr. Marian Feder noted that adopting biotechnology would enhance the country's economy. Economically, adapting the GM technology is going to enhance our economy. It's going to enhance our technological base because um, we can apply it in a lot of areas. I must say it's not only in crops that you do the GM technology. It's going to affect pharmacy. It's going to affect the environment. Now that we have um, oil, if we have a spill, the GM technology can be used to clean up spill. And we have a lot of garbage out there. We can employ GM technology to clean our environment. A deputy director at the Ministry of Science and Technology, who is also the secretary for the National Biosafety Committee, Eric Okoria, said the ministry has designed programs for biotechnology to be taught in schools. In fact, we've already developed programs you know, for biotech to be taught in secondary schools. Um, in secondary schools. Fortunately for us, English is going to be the medium. What we we'll do is that uh, we introduce the word as it is because it, they need to understand the technicalities. And then we explain, we break it down and provide the explanations so that the child, as he uses the terminology, will have the explanation at the back of the mind. So in secondary schools, yes, we will use English. We will use the terminology so that they don't deviate, but we will provide explanations. Eric Okoria noted that sensitization campaign on biotechnology and biosafety law will be carried out in phases to engage local farmers across the country. No one ash for Vasa One News.